Hello, my name is Eddie Tofbig. I'm Head of Technical Analysis and Senior Markets Analyst at ADM Investor Services International Limited. And here's your daily technical analysis of Brent Crude Oil and Spot Gold. I'll start with Ice Brent Crude Oil Futures. A second bullish white soldier and a clear break and close over the first of the two upper bear channel lines. That's currently at 95.44. This one dating from late July. It was also a more than adequate move higher following on from the previous session's bullish engulfing pattern. This was also the second consecutive close over the neckline of the old October to November 2021 head and shoulders top, currently at 93.94, as well as the entwined slowly declining short medium moving average, currently at 93.37. The market stabilized over the breached upper bear channel but did not exploit the move by trying up to the next important resistance, uh, the medium moving average currently at 99.19. This bare channel line, the first of two, the other one being from the March high currently at 105.69. I'd previously indicated that they could be either one, but I was minded to look at the more recent end of July to date one as possibly having more relevance. Uh, we shall see if this breach above it will be true. Looking upwards, we have the early October high at 98.75 as well as the medium moving average. So far today, a lower open though still over the breached upper bear channel line. It is interesting looking like a small, well, it's interesting looking like a small indecisive spinning top doji cross right now actually. Spot gold. An indecisive doji cross yesterday as the market pierced but did not exploit the broken upper time, currently at 1664 even, of the early March to mid-April bearish shift pitchfork. This pitchfork, along with the middle time below, currently at 1636.90 of the June to August bearish shift pitchfork, have defined the decline here since earlier this year. The upper time had been previously breached in August and broken in October but had tried to mend itself. Thus, yesterday's breach higher did not help that process, but the open and close below, well, they did help. This all continues the discussion as to whether the action since September here, and possibly since July, is either a possible double bottom or a possible bearish halfway hesitation. It's too, too early to clearly see which is which. Finally, this brings me once again to something I've been talking about for months. See, there's an argument for the December 2021 today action being a possible really big head and shoulders pattern. We've already reached the primary target where the interesting March 2021 low is. However, we still have a harder to achieve secondary target down in the 1560 area, which was once below the bottom of my daily chart and now just sits at the lows. Now, you may be wondering, those seem a little small to be targets for this size of move down. Well, I can explain that. You see, I used the April high at 1998 in my calculation rather than the more extreme March high at 2070. I would rather err in caution than fail in excess. So far today, a slightly lower open and test of the overhead broken upper time, but then a move lower, though not as far as yet as the middle time. That's below. A decision will soon be needed on whether we have a possible double bottom or possible bearish halfway hesitation here. Thank you for listening. This short version broadcast gives the essential market patterns and consequences. Please be aware of the risk disclaimer posted with this broadcast. Copyright is Eddie Topic and ADM Investor Services International Limited. And here comes the final bit.